Hey guys, this is Kurt, and while you're away, I built a rocket ship in Minecraft using iron and creeper dust, and I've blasted myself to the moon. Ha. <laughs> I'll pause for laughter. Just kidding. Um, you are probably wondering what the hell this is, um, and this is Celestia. I figured since I mentioned it in my last episode as... Uh, kind of an uh, astronomy game slash utility slash simulator type thing. I would uh, take a break from the Minecraft and show you guys around. Um, right now I am kind of flying past the moon here, but uh, on my way to Earth. Um, but basically, a little bit background. This um, is a free open source software. Um, I think it's available for all the major uh, operating systems from Windows to Mac to Linux. Um, and basically it's just a 3D representation of the solar system and basically the surrounding uh, objects and stars and uh, galaxies and things like that. It's really cool. Um, like I said, it's not really a game, it's more of a utility. Um, you can use it kind of as a teaching tool, I guess, if you want to teach a, an astronomy class or teachers or something like that. But uh, it's kind of cool to just to install. Um, play around with. Right now I'm just kind of flying around here, but uh, like I mentioned in one of my earlier videos, astronomy is kind of a big interest of mine. Uh, my earliest uh, YouTube videos, if you can go back in my channel history, um, all have to deal with astronomy and solar flares and Jupiter and things like that, so big part of what I'm about. Um, let me slow down here. This has uh, it's not a game, but it, it does have certain controls that act like a spacecraft, so you can speed up and slow down and spin around and get all dizzy and throw up like that. But uh, really, the best way to use it is with the mouse and to just click around. So let me turn off the speed here. Another thing about this is since it's not a game, there is no sound effects or music or anything like that, uh, which I guess would be accurate for space since there's no sound in space. Um, let me turn back to Earth here, so I guess I'll have to create the sound effects here, so... Warp speed, Captain. Pew, pew. Uh, that was cheesy. And we're here. <laughs> um, anyway, it's uh, <laughs> a really accurate, dis uh, I guess, uh, in terms of how all the planets, where they're located, in terms of real time. Um, like right now, this is uh, how Earth would look from space at, uh, what is this, April 3rd at uh, about 9 o'clock p.m. Central Time um, here. So as you can see, the uh, Australia and China and everything is uh, it's daytime over there. And on this side, where I'm at in Chicago, uh, it's a couple hours past dusk. So it's about to be dusk in California. So it's really cool, and uh, there's also, I don't think the Celestia itself has been updated, the software, in quite a while, um, but there's a big community of users who create new skins and models uh, for these planets and spacecraft and things like that. So those are always available. Um, I think it's connected to the same site. I'll put a link in this video description if you want to go check out the website for Celestia and maybe download it and check it out yourself. Um, but I'll just take you on a quick tour here. Um, obviously, this is Earth. Um, I've also installed a couple of spacecraft around Earth, like the space station. So, which is some shortcuts. I can zoom there. So, here's the space station. I think I'll need to. I haven't played this. Played this. It's not a game. I haven't used this software in a while. So, this is actually an outdated look at the space station. They've since completed it and added the other truss with the. Uh, well, those solar panels and a couple more modules, but this is close enough. I don't think this is accurate in terms of the location of the space station at the current time, but uh, it gives you a basic representation of what it would be like to be next to the space station, I guess, in Earth orbit. Um, I also have the Hubble here. You can jump over there. Sound effects. So <laughs> yeah, here's uh, Hubble. Kind of checking out something in the sky there, so that's kind of cool. And some of these can get pretty detailed. These are all user-made uh, models and textures and things like that, so that's really cool. Um, let me 
center myself back to earth and zoom out. I said zoom out. There we go. Takes a while to get the scroll wheel zooming. Oop. There. Okay. Okay. There we go. I don't think I'm completely centered here, but that'll have to do. Uh, what else can we do? Uh, we can show the orbits. So there's the orbit of Earth and there's the orbit of the Moon. So we keep zooming out to give you a scale of things. There's Venus's orbit, Mars. Um, let me turn on the planet names here. I think I might have... Uh, no, that's fine. I do have the dwarf planets on. That's what that extra orbit was. Is a Probably Ceres or Vesta or something like that. Yeah, Ceres. Which is just a very large uh, asteroid. Which I think actually we have a spacecraft going to visit there this summer. Um, this is kind of an interpretation. We've never seen what the surface of Ceres looks like, but... Anyway, I digress. <laughs> I should really keep myself in check here because I could go on for hours. And I know you guys would rather see some Minecraft, but... Uh, too bad! No, I'm going to get back to Minecraft really quick here, but uh, let me turn off the dwarf planets. I said, okay, let me go to Saturn. Oops. There we go. Saturn. Which is... That's Jupiter. There's Saturn. Go. But yeah, this is a really cool program. You can really get yourself lost in this, kind of just playing around. Just either looking at all the moons. It has pretty much all the moons. So we can go to... Uh, what is this? Pandora? No, this is not where any of the... Uh, what the heck was that movie? <laughs> the Navi? Isn't that the name of the blue people with the ponytails? Um, let me find a better moon here that's actually in sunlight. Uh, where's Titan? Ipidus... Oh, come on. It might help if I turn on the names of the moons. There's Titan, much closer than I thought. Titan is kind of cool to look at because it actually has its own atmosphere and uh, oceans of liquid methane, so it'd be a kind of an interesting place to visit one day. But <laughs> So yeah, this, this program is really cool. It's got really great graphics. Uh, as you can see, as I'm getting closer to getting the sun in front of Titan here, the atmosphere lights up really cool. So that's that's really neat features. Uh, we could also go to Jupiter. Jupiter is really cool. I think right now, yes, Jupiter is having a... This is the shadow of Io transiting Jupiter. So there's an eclipse happening on Jupiter right now. Um, and you can actually speed up and slow down time. So that's what it would look like going across at, you know, a thousand times faster than real time. And then you can even zoom out and see the motion of all the moons, and then this will even go even further. You can see the motion of all the planets and everything. So it's really kind of a cool little utility. Let me get back to real time here. There we go. Um, but yeah, you could get lost in this all day, really. Especially if it's cloudy out and you can't use a telescope like it has been lately for me. <laughs> Um, zoom way out from the solar system. There's a whole 360 view. We. Um, but yeah, I just figured you guys would be interested in seeing this since I mentioned it. It also has um, a few things beyond the solar system. Most of the detail is looking at the solar system, but it also has. Uh, let me try to find a nebula or something around here. Uh, um, ah, there's too many names in the screen. Uh, where do I want to go? M28? Sure. Well, M28 is kind of boring. Um, it's just a globular cluster of stars. So let me zoom out. And actually, you can zoom out far enough to see the Milky Way. Not that much detail there, but that's an estimate of what the Milky Way would look like. Um, you can also travel all the way to, where's, uh, there we go, M31, or other galaxies, you can zoom all the way there, oops, sound effects, sorry, 
This is B Andromeda, which is the neighboring galaxy to ours. You can actually see this in the night sky. If you're in a dark sky, you can see this naked eye. Um, but uh, most of the interest in this program is back in the solar system. So let me center back on the sun and travel there. Oh, George Jetson sound effect there. Uh, <laughs> yeah this is really cool um i'd suggest anybody to click on the link in my description to check it out let me know what you think or uh give me some other suggestions in the comments if you think of any other programs you might want to see any other games uh astronomy related or not um go to mars here um but yeah um i also wanted to take a few minutes to thank everybody who has been subscribing it's been kind of sudden and overwhelming uh, <laughs> I still have the the email notifications for, for every time somebody subscribes and I got on this morning and I had like you know 40 new emails I'm like holy crap so <laughs> I thank you all for your interest and hope you keep watching keep uh, commenting let me know what you think of my videos whether or not it be Minecraft or any other detour I take like this um, and as always, if you want to like this video, it always helps. Um, if you want to comment on it, if you want to subscribe, if you're not already subscribing, that'd be great. And in the meantime, I will see you in the next Minecraft video, which is coming up soon. Very exciting. You're not going to want to miss it. So thanks for watching.